So, my name is Luca from Mr. Gadget and from Italy comes the Xbox Series S. What are the two Xbox coming out today? But what's new in the new Xbox S? Let's have a look. When we have a closer look to the Xbox Series S, we have already seen a lot of unboxing in the last days, we see that we have a very compact size. It's a little thick, uh, but if we compare to the previous uh, uh, Xbox One X that I've been using in the last uh, couple of years, uh, you can realize how different they are. Uh, you have to put side by side uh, those two consoles uh, to uh, realize where they are so different. Um, as you can see now, much more compact but a thicker uh, size for the new uh, Series X. Um, there is a uh, Series S, sorry. Uh, there is no optical uh, disc in this case, and the other very important difference is for the port availability. We don't have an audio optical output, uh, we don't uh, have uh, uh, another port which is very important from my point of view, which is the TV input uh, connected to the uh, TV output. But now we have the storage expansion, the Seagate uh, drive, which is really useful to bring your data uh, with you. Um, in the previous version there was the uh, wire connector as well for headphones, for example, as, as we see input and output for the HDMI. On the controllers there is a new button which is uh, used to share your experience uh, with the Xbox, uh, while on the back you have a USB Type-C connector, while in the past you had a micro uh, USB uh, connector. As per the interface, mm, there is a new design, a new colors, more gentle, I would say, more pleasant. Uh, it's not a revolutionary change, but anyway, an evolution of the uh, user interface for the uh, new Xbox. And we know that there are new new uh, application coming in the next future for example we're gonna have the Apple TV plus uh, platform available on Xbox uh, as well so mm, a lot of uh, deep controls very good parental control with the family settings uh, for a uh, Microsoft so from this point of view um, we made a step forward in the uh, quality the overall quality uh, of the Xbox Series S. If we look, at, we look at the titles. There are a few titles now that are already um, prepared and optimized for the 4K uh, resolution. We know that the difference between uh, the Xbox uh, Series X and the Xbox uh, Series S is the fact that you don't have uh, a native uh, cable for uh, 4K resolution inside the box, but you can simply change the uh, wire to have the same high resolution of the Series X and there is a difference uh, in the uh, processor which is a, a, a little less powerful uh, than uh, the other one. But um, I have to say that the gaming experience uh, is really really interesting and this console is gonna give us a lot of uh, uh, funny moments. So now we know everything we need to know about the new Xbox Series S, but the real review, the deep review, will need a few more days. So see you in the next days to talk about this now. Let's start playing.